Hey, what's up, everybody? Today I want to show you the ZOM. Uh, the ZOM is basically a wireless leash for your smartphone. It works on both uh, iOS and Android devices. And what it does is, <clears throat> if you think your keys are always with you, your phone's always with you. And this was really cool for me because I love gadgets. And uh, when these things separate, your ZOM will start to vibrate first, and then it will start to beep and then it will just set a full blown alarm so if you're out you know in the work world at a party uh, at the bar uh, you have your keys in your pocket and you set your phone down um, this is an excellent way to remind you to go back and get your phone uh, it's very easy to connect to I'm just gonna go ahead in my settings here uh, and my Bluetooth I'm gonna go ahead and turn the ZOM on and just go ahead and connect it and there it is connected now there's a few other things that's really cool about this too I realized I listen to music really loud when I drive my car and I don't always hear my phone go off I noticed the other day when I had my keys in my ignition uh, even for a car when when someone calls it will flash you can either so if, if people are gonna call it will, you can set it to flash you can set it to even beep and the cool thing is, is you can use it as a speakerphone, which I'll show you here right now. See, it's calling on my on my phone, and you'll hear light up like that. And I'll go ahead and answer it right here from the from the zone itself. Hello, can you hear me? Awesome. And I can control the volume of the ZOM right here uh, for the speakerphone. Hello, test? Hello. So it actually sounds pretty clear considering the size. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and disconnect this. This is just uh, my girlfriend was calling me from this number. And I'm going to show you, you can also use this as a personal alarm. So if you're out and about and you're getting attacked, you actually have to hold it down for about 10 seconds or maybe 15 seconds for the alarm to start going off and the alarm actually doesn't sound that good at all uh, but I'll show you that real quick you just hold it down it's gonna beep once and it's gonna beep twice you can hear the alarm go off but really it, it, it's it's kind of pathetic I uh, um, it's 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 not too good of an alarm but something else I do want to show you is you can program it to make a 911 call. Uh, you can also program it to make any call that you want. Uh, I'll show you, for instance, here I have made a, uh, on the computer, I've programmed it to uh, call my house phone. So I'll go ahead and you have to just hold down for three beeps this time. Once again, you have to hold it through the alarm. So it, you know, if you really were in trouble, I mean, you're going to have to push this thing for a while. But I'll show you here. I'll say dial emergency assistance. Can you hand me the phone real quick? Now, I do want to show you whoever you do have your phone call. This is what it's going to say first. So it gives you a warning call. Check, check. But that, I'm getting too much interference here. But you can make that call to the uh, to your phone or whatever. I'm gonna have uh, Amy take my phone here and she's gonna walk away upstairs. The average range for the leash is about 30 feet, but if you were to go outside with no walls and things, you'd probably get a little longer than 30 feet. And <clears throat> she's just gonna go ahead and take, take the phone away and I'll show you. It's gonna vibrate first, vibrate and flash. She's going upstairs. I'm not even sure if she's 30 feet away. It hasn't started doing anything yet. So it's got a pretty good range on it, I'd say. You don't want, you don't want anything really shorter than 30 feet either, because you do do a lot of moving around. I set my phone down quite a lot. And surprisingly, I guess anywhere in my house, uh, this is not going to go off. She's going to have to go outside. And now it's vibrating, and it will start to flash. 
will start beeping quietly. She's getting further away. But she's actually coming back inside now. And once it got back in range, it went ahead and shut off on its own. Um, what do you get with the Zom? With the Zom, it comes in this cool, nicely packaged box here. Uh, you have a USB, a micro USB, and to charge it, this little corner here comes down, and I'll kind of show you. It's a very, very small, and you just plug, plug that in, and you can charge it off a of USB on your computer, or also comes with this extra long cord that you can plug into the wall. Uh, it also comes with a little keychain. Uh, so you can attach it to your keychain, and uh, we'll talk about battery life. Battery life, this thing will work for about two to five days. Uh, just guess depends on how much you're talking on it or using the alarm. Um, now, charge time, charge time is about four hours to fully charge. When you first get your ZOM, you do want to first charge your ZOM for four hours before you even begin to um, start using it. If you were to talk, you know, uh, on speakerphone non-stop you're gonna get about two hours talk time but I like it uh, it's connected off your Bluetooth I was able to connect uh, my iPhone to different Bluetooth devices while I was still connected to this and I was able to have them work thanks for watching